here at the menus if you want any more food, such as dessert or anything like that. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, and I'll be back with you in just a second. I just need to put these dishes away. Dad? What, what are you doing here? You know I'm at work. But I need your help with some stuff. And what stuff would that be? It's about my detective work, darling. I need help. Dad, you know I don't do that anymore. I've quit that job and I'm now in a cafe working here, not there. But honey, please, I need your help. I Just because you're my father doesn't mean you get to tell me what to do. Like I said, I work here now to work for you anymore. Understand? Sorry about that, we're just dealing with some problems. <laughs> we'll leave you in peace and quiet though. We'll go somewhere else to complain about our issues. I'm really sorry about that. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Anyways guys, are you gonna have dessert or not? I'm afraid not. This hot chocolate is too much for me. I'm really sorry. It's all on me, really. Thank you, Doctor, but really, I think we're all full. Michelle and I aren't gonna have any. Maybe Jewel will, but we won't. Yeah, I'm fine too. I won't have any. I guess I won't have any. I'll go ask for the bill when she comes back up. Listen here, Dad. I know I was a detective before, but that does not mean that I will be a detective again. You heard what I said out there. I'm not going to quit my job and then go back to detective work. So please, officer, excuse me while I continue doing my witch's work. Wait, what now I- It's about Haley Furbound. What about her? There's a case going on about her. She mysteriously ended up in the janitor's closet all by herself, locked up, and she was all tied up. We think something happened that day. Something serious. Fine. I mean. Come in. Yeah, Dad, don't judge. My apartment is very messy, okay? Take a seat. Okay, I'm not done. Do you want a drink? Yes, please. Can I have a beer? Your beer? Thanks. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna go get myself a drink too. So, um, Queenie, you spoken to your mom and Jay lately? No. Why would I talk to them? Mom, mom, she barely even talks to me, and Jay? I'm not talking to him after he chose to be with mom instead of be with his sister. No, you're not over that, are you? Of course not, it makes me mad. My own little brother chose my mother, who is a selfish dog, instead of me, who took care of him all his whole childhood. Like, that doesn't make sense, okay? Right, so let's get started about this case, I. Well, I was speaking to Jay the other day, and well, he's coming back. Superful. You're kidding, right? Apparently, your mom, she has a new boyfriend and he's a bit toxic, too blind to see that, so he's leaving. He's asking if he could stay with you. <laughs> no. Do you see the size of my flat? It's tiny. I don't have any space for another pet, Dad. He's literally a Great Dane. Great Danes are big and huge, Dad. Look, over there. You see that couch? Yeah, that's where I sleep. There's only one room in the house, and well, the toilets are behind me, but it's tiny. So, you know, I don't have space for another pet. I guess you can live with me, but really, I suggest you and him to, you know, get back together or something. I'm serious, Queenie. You and your brother had such a good relationship when you were growing up. I feel like you need to continue that. Siblings are not supposed to ignore each other or all that stuff. I know they can hate each other, but I know they love each other. And I know that's the same thing for you. You love your brother dearly. You do hate him as well. I'll see. Very well then. Okay, let's just start on this case now. So, Haley Furbounder. She was um, found in the school's janitor's closet, unconscious, with some rope tied around her mouth and some evidence beside her. The evidence which is some alcoholic beverages and food, which were later on found to be smeared all over her. She couldn't have done that all by herself. Wait, how do you know her? Oh, she came to my restaurant the other day. Isn't she the brown cocker spaniel? Yeah, she is. 
how did you find out who it was? I mean, like, someone had to have told you to know someone was in that janitor's closet. We don't know. We just got a call from some random person saying that there's someone in the janitor's closet. We went to the scene and we have no record. It was a call from an anonymous person. I need you to look up Cynthia Smith. I don't really know who she is. You're kidding, right? No. He's Victoria Jensen's daughter, Dad. Do you not know? I'm sorry, I don't read the magazine. She's in the newspaper and you don't know, still. Victoria Jensen, the famous model, fashion designer. Look, I skipped the fashion part of the magazine, that's why I don't know. She attends the same school as Haley, if you're wondering. So we could meet her and question her tomorrow. I'm gonna ask some questions to Haley tomorrow as well. Could you call the principal of that school? Sure. Right, so I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, hey, see ya. Okay, bye. See ya. Love you too.